What could possibly motivate someone to try and destroy a work of art? On 29th May, a man in his 30s entered the Lovre Museum in Paris, disguised as an elderly woman in a wheelchair, and threw cake at Leonardo da Vinci's masterpiece, The Mona Lisa. It is the latest act of art vandalism. Take a look at some others. In 1956, a vandal in France threw acid at the painting of Mona Lisa. Later the same year, a South American tourist hurled a rock at the painting. Then in 1974, while on display at the Tokyo National Museum, a differently abled tourist sprayed red paint over the protective glass case to register her protest against lack of access to the differently abled. And in 2009, disgruntled over being denied French citizenship, a Russian woman hurled a mug at the painting. In February 2022, a board security guard used a ballpoint pen to draw eyes on two figures in Anna Leproski's painting, Three Figures. The painting was valued at 75 million rubles and its restoration cost about 250,000 rubles. In 1974, a man sprayed the words, Kill Lies All, across Pablo Picasso's 1937 masterpiece, Guernica, when it was hung at the Museum of Modern Art. The anti-war masterpiece was ironically defaced to protest America's involvement in the Vietnam War. In 2012, CCTV cameras at the National Gallery of Ireland captured a man punching Claude Monet's Argentoil Basin with a single sailboat, leaving it with a large hole in the middle. In 1997, Andy Warhol's freehand painting, Bathtub, came under gentle vandalism when a woman kissed it, leaving the imprint of her lips in red. Visit business-standard.com for the details.